Okay, now we set up our list, we connected it to our secret affiliate machine. And uh, after we did that, hopefully you hit save and went back to this page, okay? So um, the next thing, as I said in the lecture before, now we're going to set up certain emails which will be sent out to every single one on this very list in after a period of time, okay? And ClickFunnels is going to do that completely hands-free, so automatically. You just need to set up once, which we're gonna do now, and then it's just good to go, okay? So what we're gonna do is go back to Actionetics, click on Actionetics, and of course, when you go to email list, you see our secret affiliate machine list, okay? Now, you wanna go down and go to Action Funnels, okay? We're gonna set up a new Action Funnel. Click on that, and we will say new action funnel, this yellow button right here, okay? Click on this one. Now we're gonna name the action funnel. And for that, we're gonna name it the secret affiliate machine follow-up, okay? And the group tag is secret affiliate machine, okay? So we need to let ClickFunnels know which email lists are going to be connected to this action funnel, to the sequence of emails, okay? Since we only have our secret affiliate machine list, we're gonna select that one. And once we did that, we're gonna create action funnel, okay? Now, fantastic. We have, this is the dashboard for the action funnel. Now, you can go here and go to click add new step. Okay, and the step name is going to be email number one. You can change it however you like. It's just for demonstration purposes, okay? When to trigger, zero days. So what this means is we want ClickFunnels to send out an email to somebody who opted in right after they, they opted in, okay? We don't wanna wait uh, a certain amount of time. Just the first email gets pushed out right away once someone signs up, okay? And then choose trigger send email, okay? So add new funnel step. Fantastic. Now, ClickFunnels know, knows we need to send an email, okay? And uh, if you go over here to the settings, you can, you can um, if you go over here, we need to set up our SMTP settings, okay? Which I will show you in an upcoming lecture how to do that, okay? But for now, we need to choose a template from which to work off, okay? Because as I told you, you don't need to write your own emails. You can just copy and paste mine, uh, which we go through in, in the next lecture, but we need to choose a template, okay? So, so just go with this one, with the first one, click on use this template. And as you can see, it automatically imported a pre-made email, okay? So in the next step, what we want to do is go to open email editor. Okay, and open this up. Now you see it's it's kind of similar to the ClickFunnels editor itself, okay? Which is pretty straightforward to use. Now, I want you to go back to the resources tab, okay? We talked about in a couple lectures before this one, um, where you can access all of the resources that we need in this course, okay? And if you go down to step number three, it says, download my copy and paste email sequence to follow up with your leads and start earning, okay? So if you click on here, download my secret affiliate machine email swipes and click this uh, button, it will open up a, a document, a Word document, <clears throat> okay? And as you can see, this is email number one, okay? This is email number two, okay? This is email number three, okay? email number four, and then we wait two days, and you know we're just gonna go with four emails because we just don't wanna bombard you know the people and spam them with, with the same thing over and over again, okay? So if we send out four emails over the course of four or five days, and somebody doesn't take action, okay? It's not worth pursuing it anymore, pretty much with this offer as to the secret affiliate machine. Of course, you can go and promote them other affiliate offers if you would like to do that, but we're gonna focus on the secret affiliate machine and getting people into that, okay? And get, getting people back to it 
once they opted in and decided to leave for some reason. Okay, so what we will do now is go back to ClickFunnels, okay, into our email editor, and we're going to remove this logo, okay, and remove this delete row, okay, and also we are going to remove all of these, these things over here. So basically all we need is a little bit of text, okay? Delete this one too, and this one, and also this one, and this one, and this one, okay, and this one, and all of these. It takes a couple of seconds to do this, but once you set it up, it's pretty easy, okay? Now, I want to leave these three, okay? And we're going to delete these rows, which are down here. Delete them. So we are left with this, okay? Now, go back to your email swipes, okay? And it says email number one, first follow-up, send immediately. We set that up already, okay? So <clears throat> you're going to go and start with hi, okay? And basically copy it all the way down to the image, go back to the ClickFunnels email editor, highlight everything, and hit Command V, and boom, there it is, okay? So there's a couple of things we need to change. First of all, since we don't ask for, for names in the secret affiliate machine on the opt-in page, only for the email, okay? We want to delete this name fix, okay? So it only says hi, save this email, okay? After that, we want to go and go to the very bottom of this section and click on the plus icon. And we go and hit image. Okay, so it imports this placeholder image. Okay, so what you want to do is go here and na -da 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 -da, get everything that's basically underneath this image all the way down until it says your name right before email to you, okay? And you're going to command C, copy it, go back to your email editor, okay? Go to this section, highlight everything, and paste it, okay? And as you can see, the, the size is not quite the same. So you can go on these minus and plus icons and go this way. This is a good start. And then over here, you want to highlight everything as well. Okay. And click on this one. Okay. So both of these are the same size in terms of font. Okay. So, and of course you want to change your name from Russell Brunson to whatever it is. And my name, in my case, it would be Greg. And you want to remove this, your name, okay? And you can also change we are to I'm rooting for you, okay? So the last step we have to cover is basically importing this image, okay? So as you can see, I cannot, you cannot basically click it. So what you want to do, you want to zoom in as much as you can, okay, and do a screenshot of this. So if you're on a Mac, you can, um, you hopefully know how to screenshot. It's it's um, there, it's pretty simple to do. And also on a Windows computer, you can screenshot this image, save it onto your computer, okay. And once you did that, for example, let me see if, okay. So once you did that, you go back to the email editor. You want to click on this image and go select image and go to upload image and you're going to choose the files, okay? So we're going to go, I'm going to blur some of this out, okay, and find one I have saved somewhere. Let me see. Where do I have? 
Okay. So once you found your image, you're going to upload it and it's going to start uploading, okay? Now, upload done and you're going to click on this and done editing settings. And as you can see, it imported this image, okay? This very image that um, I screenshotted over here, okay? It's kind of a different image, but if you screenshot this one, okay, then you can easily upload it into your email editor, okay? Now, as you can see, there's a border on, on this one right here. So what we need to do is basically go to these settings and do, where is it? Where can we, where can we, oh no, it's, it's no border, okay. So once you once you basically done all of that, you're good to go. Okay, you set up your your email. I might just think that we should change the text size to fourteen, all the way here too. So if we go and mark all of these up, we should be good to go. Okay, fantastic. Now we're done. Okay, so basically all you need to do is go back to these email swipes and do the same thing for email number two, email number three, there it is, and email number four, okay? And one thing I did mention, which is a very important thing, of course, you want to go and in the very first email, and you will see this all over in the email swipes, okay? You see continue your account set up here, okay? Link to the second page of the funnel. Second email, continue your account set up here. Link to the second page of the funnel. So email number four, continue your account set up here. Link to the second page of funnel, okay? So what this basically is, is we're gonna put in our affiliate link or not the affiliate link itself, but we're gonna put in the link that's the second page of our smart, uh, of our uh, secret affiliate machine, okay? So bear with me, this might sound confusing, but it will all make sense, okay? So we will go to the affiliate section, okay, the affiliate sender, and if you don't know where, how, to, how to access it, you wanna go um, to your ClickFunnels dashboard, go to your account and click on affiliates, okay? And this is where you will access all of your affiliate links, right? But for now, we need to go to ClickFunnels, Funnels, go to the secret affiliate machine, and go to the step where it says edit here, okay? And we're gonna copy this link right here because that's the unique URL for your secret affiliate machine for the second step, okay? So we don't wanna send them back to the very beginning because they already opted in, okay? We don't want them to put in their email address once again, they already did that. But so for some reason, they jumped off, okay? So with our email sequence, we wanna send them back to the second step, okay? Where the tutorial and the training begins and where they can create their ClickFunnels account with your affiliate link, make sense? Okay. So you're gonna copy this link in the edit here section, okay? You're gonna copy it and you're gonna get, go back to the email editor and go to this section where it says continue your account setup here and you're gonna go to this symbol right next to the minus and, and to these symbols, okay? This one. And as you can see, it opens up a form where you're gonna delete all of this and command V insert your unique URL for the secret affiliate machine. And as you can see, if you go here, it's, 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 it's blue, okay? So which means there's a hyperlink. So once people click in, once they get your email and they scroll down and they see this sentence right here, they can click on it and it will take them to the second step of your secret affiliate machine, okay? Now, of course, we wanna delete this link to the second page. 
right here. Okay. And maybe just to make it pop a little bit more, we're going to bolt this. Okay. So hit the B over here and it's bold. Okay. Now we are done with our first email. We have the copy, which you got from the email swipes, the, the image, which you screenshotted from the email swipes and upload it. And we put in the link to the second step of our secret affiliate machine, which you get over here if you go to the second step and up here. Okay. And then you want to go to continue your account set up here, you know, highlight it and then basically click on this button and paste that link. Okay. Make it bold to make it pop a little bit more. Um, change your name. Okay but you're good to go. It's pre-made for you. Okay. So this is the process of actually importing the email swipes that are ready made for you. You don't need to write any copy, just copy and paste all of these and make sure to swap, um, these sections with your unique URL that takes them to the second page of your secret affiliate machine. Okay. So once we're done, we're going to hit save. Okay. It's saved and we're going to hit close. Okay. Now the last step of course is the email subject line. Okay. So we go up here in the document and you see your secret affiliate machine day number one. That's the subject line for this very first email. So we're going to, we're going to save it. Okay. And go back to the email editor, click on settings. But first we need to do the SMTP setup. Okay. Which is, uh, it's not that hard of a process, but let's do that in the next lecture. And, um, then we'll change the subject lines. Okay. So, uh, bear with me. This might be, might sound complicated, but I, I tell you that this is actually a, a very, very good way on following up with everyone who went through that first step and get them back and, and, you know, increasing your conversion. So thank you very much for your attention. And uh, I'll see you in the next lecture where we will set up the SMTP server.